Hey everybody, me and Buster want to say welcome to Little Cahaba Junkin, where we share a whole lot of junkin and even more Jesus. Enjoy our video. Hey friends, it's me Kayla and today we are at Petals from the Past once again in Jemison, Alabama for Antiques in the Garden. This year we didn't have a booth like we have the last two years. We just took the year off to enjoy and shop and visit. Hopefully next year I'll have my booth again. But it is always so much fun to tour this beautiful property. Look at all these gorgeous flowers and see everybody's smiling faces. I hope you enjoy the video. Without further ado, let's go visit with our friends. I made it. First thing I did when I got here is actually hit my husband's alarm button on his truck. So I made a grand entry. Baby. You look so cute. Thank I you. love your blue, love your pants. Yes, so, yeah, turn around so we can show them the best part. Kayla is my favorite child. <laughs> Let's That's go shopping. Well, this absolutely beautiful booth belongs to our sweet friend Susan, <laughs> who has her own YouTube channel. We met her last year. If you didn't go right then, we'll forgive you this time, but <laughs> you have to go over and subscribe to Susan at the old so-and-so. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. tell us a little bit about yourself, Susan. Well, let's see, We're, what year do we want to start at? <laughs> <laughs> tell us about your YouTube channel. What are the things you enjoy okay. sharing all there? I love to antique, thrift, decorate with those. Um, I, I love to organize, clean, but I don't do a lot on the channel, and I definitely don't cook. <laughs> well, you look. Yeah, I, you, you guys would starve. You come decorate my house, and I'll cook something for <laughs> oh, you. I'll okay, cook. Now you know you're doing good. I'll cook some corn. I can cook some main cornbread and and some cornbread. some cornbread and some some collards and some potatoes. Ooh, you're doing good. We'll be doing good, girl. <laughs> So you're the old so and so over on YouTube. We'll make sure to link you below. Do you Thank have any? You. Do you have a Instagram or anything like no, that? No, I'm old school. You're the old so and so. I know. <laughs> well, we are so excited. We're gonna be close to her when we go up to the junk yes. hunt in the next couple weeks. Yes. But y'all, please go follow Susan. And if you don't um, already know about pedals, come down here and shop her booth because yes. oh, it, and next year. Yes. Look. You already signed up for next year. It's the 25th and 26th, so mark your calendar. Yes, y'all come. It's worth coming down here just it for is. her booth. Well, and to say, and to say, for my booth. Well, I'm but. saying I would <laughs> if I would just for your booth. But the grounds are beautiful and so many good vendors, and you're gonna love Susan's booth. So y'all come say hello. I could have absolutely went berserk over all of this beautiful salvage. I did bring home two pieces. I want you to try and guess which pieces I brought home. Penny also scored some, but y'all, they were beautiful. It's something that is timeless and adds so much character to your home.
here I'm just showcasing a few of the other booths that we stopped at. There weren't a ton of antique dealers or vintage dealers here, but there's something for everybody. There's food, there are all sorts of goodies, kettle corn, homemade jams, candles, anything you can think of, jewelry, you name it. It has something fun for everybody. And like I said, just touring the grounds here will bring you so much joy. There's so much beauty in all of these flowers and it just literally takes you a step back in time. I guess that's why they call it Petals from the Past. Also, their gift shop is absolutely beautiful. They have so many beautiful books, gardening supplies, everything that you need to make your garden dreams come true. It's so, so beautiful. And this beautiful shop here is always open when the nursery is open. So even if they're not having an event, you can stop by and shop all of these goodies. Well, it has been an eventful day here at Petals and got to meet a bunch of our friends. Yes, we did. Lots of and, people. Um, met some new friends. Yes, we did. And um, found out some new places to go junking. That's right. We got a new place to take y'all to. Yes, and I'm going to let Penny show what she got. Hey, guys. I'm going to trump my first video. Um, hopefully, Kayla can add it to her video because we got busy talking and running our mouths and did not realize that she didn't have she wasn't filming so we did a little haul and she didn't even have the camera on so i'm gonna try to add a little video of the things that i got and hopefully she can um tack it on to her video so let me see what i can do all right i'm gonna show you what i got uh we met up with one of what kayla's sweet subscribers roberta and she brought us a nice little uh gift box full of goodies and this is what I got, some old crates. Um, I'm gonna fill them full of terracotta pots. Elizabeth had that idea, I think it'll be so cute. Just old terracotta pots. Um, a good jar with some cook old cookie cutters, uh, an old crock. That's, I think that's either spongeware or splatterware. But I thought those two would be great for 4th of July. This is an old uh, donut cutter so cute a really pretty victor restaurant wear bowl a really heavy restaurant wear teacup uh and then from another booth i got these gorgeous um italian made flower pots they're like bowls uh the small one was 10 the bigger one was 15 i just love them i bought some angel vine today i finally found some that before it all sold out. So I think I'm gonna put some of that angel vine in one of those bowls. Then from Susan, oh, another little vendor, I bought these old zinc um, name holders for flower pots. So our flowers, so I got those. I got a bowl, um, mason jar, um, lifter, I don't know, handle holder that you would pull the jars out of when you're canning. I'm gonna turn it upside down and put a flower pot, I think. Oh, I got an old chippy stained up green paintbrush. I love old paintbrushes. Um, some great architectural pieces from Susan. Her stuff was in this cute little bag. I love little totes like this. And anyway, that was that. I got this really cute vintage straw hat from Susan, a bunch of old terracotta pots. I'm hoping to try to get enough to put inside my wagon, my little John Deere wagon. I wanna fill it up with terracotta pots, but that's what I got. And I was gonna show you a quick uh, card of Susan's with her information. She is so sweet. We just love her and her husband, Todd. Just, they are precious people, funny, funny. Love talking with them. Anyway, I love visiting with all these new people today. We met some new people and mom met up with a couple of the ones we met last year. And I just can't get over some of the generosity of Kayla's subscribers. Just as bless, blesses my heart. But anyway, that's what I got. 
Hopefully Kayla can add this to her video since we weren't even filming. Hey friends, I am back home in my beautiful garage. Y'all know that um, this garage is a mess, but it houses all of my treasures. When I got home from Pedals, I took a nap for like two and a half hours and I just woke up and I look a little bit like a zombie. But is there anything better than a good old afternoon nap on the weekend? Y'all, I woke up not knowing what day it was, thinking I had missed the school bus, <laughs> but it was wonderful. But I want to share with you guys all the fun things that I bought at Petals. I know you're gonna love it. I didn't get a ton, but I got some really, really good stuff. So starting out with Susan at the old so-and-so, I purchased this adorable little hat. I thought it was so cute. I said it fits perfectly on my little top, but <laughs> I like one of the three stooges right now. But anyway, I thought it was so cute for spring and summer. Look at the little flowers. Absolutely precious. I just loved it. But the big purchase that I made today from Susan are these beautiful, super old, chippy, architectural salvage pieces. I thought they were just gorgeous. They're humongous. I love the chippiness of them. I'm not gonna do a thing to them. They're absolutely beautiful. So, um, I have a couple of ideas for these. I have a entryway in between my kitchen and my living room. I thought about sticking these up in either corner, going in through that entryway, just to add a little bit of um, vintage going through that spot to add a little bit of texture and a little interest. I also thought they were beautiful like this, hanging on either side of a window. I just don't know yet, but they are absolutely gorgeous, y'all. So big, and I bought a pair of these. They're so pretty. I just love them, and I can't wait to use them. Up next, I purchased this super cute vintage rolling cart. It is super rusty and chippy. I love it. It folds up, but it is so, so cute. And it just rolls around. Perfect for shows. I thought it was a, ooh, I'm getting stuck on a basket. Perfect for shows. I thought it was so cute. Um, and I'm also thinking it would be so, so cute on the porch. And Susan and Elizabeth were telling me some really good ideas to use this around the house, but I also thought it was just precious for shows. I've seen several people using these vintage carts at Vintage Picking, and I think they're so cute. So I think for the Junk Hunt in Nashville, I'm gonna tie some really cute vintage hankies on there and use this as our shopping cart with me and Aunt Peeny. So those were the only purchases that I made from vendors. I did buy a couple of things from Petals um, out in the gift shop. I bought some really cute seed packets. They had a really pretty vintage look to me. These are real seeds that they sell, but I thought these would be really cute in the kitchen. So y'all saw my house decorated kind of for Easter, early spring with all the bunnies. I'm thinking I wanna take that down and put up a whole lot more gardening items and um, just lots of flowers and things like that for spring. And then of course, for summer, we're going full blown patriotic. But I also got these. I thought they were so pretty. And I love these poppies. These grow all around the property up there. And I just absolutely love these seed packets. I thought they were really, really cute. Just tucked down in a flower frog, tucked down in some terracotta pots, whatever. But I just thought they were so sweet. And then I bought this absolutely beautiful kitchen towel. And I thought about, it says gardening on it. I actually thought about hanging this up, either framing it or just putting some really pretty tacks up in the corner and hanging it on the wall as a wall art piece. 
just giving it a nice little press with my iron and I thought it would be a really pretty banner. So, so cute. Um, if you have not been to Petals, even if you don't go for the Antiques in the Garden event, their property is just absolutely beautiful. The flowers are breathtaking and unlike anything you will see at other nurseries, they take a lot of pride in just making sure all their plants are cared for so well and their gift shop is absolutely beautiful. You can spend an entire day just walking around the property but they have really, really cute things like this. All your seeds, all your flowers, all of your supplies, everything you need right there in the gift shop. But this was what I brought home from them today. Also, I wanted to share our precious, precious friend, Roberta, drove down again for petals and she is the sweetest thing in the world. Roberta, I hope you see this so you can see how much we love everything. But Roberta brought us a ton of fun stuff. And she told us just to go through and pick out what we wanted. But look at these little cloves. They've got like a little pearl snap on them. They're so sweet. I thought those would be adorable displayed somewhere. And then this is like a little hat for a baby's head. Can you just imagine this in a newborn photo shoot or something? It's just so precious. But I thought they were so sweet. Y'all know I love vintage baby clothes. And then, y'all hear Buster <laughs> in the house. And then another one of those. And then, of course, a super sweet little dress. I thought it was so precious to hang on a peg rack absolutely adorable oh and I also dropped this this is a sweet little collar but I thought it'd be really pretty on my dress form that I have all my necklaces displayed on so so cute a little vintage collar so pretty I could just start wearing this <laughs> over all my junkin shirts but it's so cute so it's actually a vintage baby dress crocheted collar, but it's so cute. I think it'd be so cute on my dress form. Love that, Roberta. She knows me so, so well. And then a collection of really pretty cards. Just so cute. Some of these are sympathy. I love that. Cute little Valentine's Day card. Just a really pretty little collection of cards. And then an adorable collection of books. Y'all know I love little children's books. These are just the cutest things I've ever seen. I absolutely, y'all know I love puppy dogs. I absolutely love this. I thought he was so cute. Just precious. And then this collection of children's books was just absolutely precious. I also love, um, I love keeping these for myself, obviously, but I also love to give these at baby showers instead of giving um, a card. I will often just write a little pretty note in the front of these vintage books and give this as the card. I'm definitely keeping that one. I love anything with puppies. But they're so cute. I love little vintage books. And Elizabeth had said this would be perfect for Christmas. Little gingerbread man. And look at that. He's got his little watering can. Perfect for spring. Little raccoon. Oh, they were just precious. I absolutely love it. Thank you so, so much, Roberta. And I also got a couple of these little molds and, um, or like donut cutters, biscuit cutters, cookie cutters. So sweet. And then she brought me some pure maple syrup. I say syrup, but this says syrup. <laughs> So it is an it's 100% pure maple syrup from a tree 
So I'm really excited to try this. I've never had any real, 100% real stuff like this. I grew up eating um, Golden Eagle syrup, but I'm really excited to try this. I have to whip us up some pancakes and I know it's gonna be delicious. Um, Aunt Penny also obviously shared what she got from Sweet Roberta and the rest I have tucked away in a bag to take to my Aunt Kim because I think she's really gonna enjoy those pieces. Thank you so, so much, Roberta. It was so fun to see you and thank you for our presence. Also, earlier this week, our sweet friend Tamara came down from West Virginia and I met her and her hubby and her son. Um, she was going to Petals yesterday. I had to work, so I knew I wouldn't see her there. So we met and had some lunch and she brought me a really sweet prize. She collects sock donners and she brought me one special for me. I've never owned one. I have some shoe molds and things like that, but I've never had a sock garner, and I absolutely love it. I think it is so sweet. And her son said, she never gives those away, so she must like you. <laughs> so I was very, very blessed to get that. And she also brought me some really good Chesapeake crab chips. She said up there where they live, they do a lot of um, crab bowls and things like that. She also got me some Old Bay seasoning. Y'all know I love to eat. And I love this stuff. So I was so excited when she got this, this Amish Country popcorn. It's the best brand of popcorn ever. I love it. And I thought this was so cute. It's a jam, but it says toe jam. How funny is that? And then some apple butter, which y'all know I love. So Tamara, thank you so much for all your prizes and for coming down to see us. Well guys, that is pretty much it for our Petals adventure this year. I know um, a lot of folks were um, surprised when I did not do a booth this year. It was just too much for right now. We've got a lot of busy stuff going on at work and um, just busy, busy, and I knew that I would never be able to find enough stuff. I didn't find a ton of stuff last year to sell. The first year, I really put a lot of time and effort into getting the booth ready. Last year, um, I still put a lot of time and effort, but I just, I never realized how much time and energy and effort goes into having a booth. And especially when I think about like Susan, she had this huge, four tent booth, the staging, the hauling of items, having to go out and find those items and go picking for those, um, you know, and staging them, pricing them, getting them out to you. It is a lot of work. So if you are a vintage vendor, thank you so, so much for what you do. I so enjoy coming and looking at your beautiful booths and shopping and I never realized just how much hard work goes into it. Maybe next year I will have a booth at Petals. I'm not sure. We'll just wait and see. Time will tell. Um, it just depends on what's going on. But I don't think my days of that are over. Um, I did, like I said, dabble in it. But um, I am really excited to see maybe in the future having booths at Petals. Maybe the next year. So we will see. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you stopped by and said hello while we were out and about, thank you so much. And know we love and appreciate you and your support more than you know. I hope that you will get down to Petals to see the beautiful property, even if it's not for antiques in the garden. Make sure you go follow the old so-and-so, Miss Susan. And I actually have a card for her here. So I'm gonna link everything below. But like I said, she's the old so-and-so, Miss Susan. And she has a booth um, at Antiques on 231 in Lebanon, Tennessee. She also has her email here, the old so-and-so at gmail.com. If you saw something in the video that you're interested in. But make sure you go and subscribe to her YouTube channel. That way we can support her and she can... Um, continue to bring us this beautiful vintage market um, experience and just all her fun pieces that she brings. Again, I love you guys so much. 
most importantly, remember that Jesus loves you. And I hope this spring he just awakens a beauty in you and shows you that you are worthy and you are beautiful and that you have so much to offer. So just grow this spring, be happy, and go tell somebody you love them today and just spread the good news. See you next time. Also, our sweet friend Elizabeth joined us today and she got an awesome haul that is pictured here. And we will be going to film her home tour and Aunt Penny's this week. So stay tuned for lots more awesome videos.